Hi, I'm Alan from the High Speed Signal Path Applications Group at National Semiconductor. Today I'll be discussing the LMK4800 family of low noise clock jitter cleaners. One of the key applications for the LMK0400 is in the wireless base station radio unit, where it must provide the critical functions needed to synchronize the radio unit. Here we can see the LMK0400 receiving a recovered clock from the SCAN25100 to synchronize its output clocks. To prevent reference spurious from transmitting to its output, it must provide jitter cleaning. It must also provide clock generation to generate a high frequency integer multiple of the reference clock from which the clock distribution will divide that signal down to achieve the various output clocks needed for clocking the high speed ADCs, PLLs, clock distribution devices, and other devices such as DACs and FPGAs. In order to meet the performance requirements of the ADCs, DACs, and LOs, it must have very low phase noise and jitter performance. Looking at the internal architecture, you can see how we achieve a very high level of integration that allows you to eliminate multiple costly components on the, the, bo the board, such as expensive VCOs and PLLs. Inside this device, we have dual redundant inputs with automatic switchover and holdover in order to support uh, loss of reference on the input clocks. The reference clock is then fed to the PLL1, which achieves jitter cleaning using an external VCXO or crystal. That provides a very stable and low noise reference for PLL2, which achieves the high frequency clock generation using an internal low noise VCO. That VCO drives a clock distribution path leading to these uh, clock distribution groups that, comp that are composed of the digital delay block, deep dividers which provide a wide range of output frequencies, and the fine analog delay uh, for fine skew adjustment. There are two output buffers per block which can be configured to LVDS, LVC MOS, and LV PECL outputs. So the ca device is capable of up to 20, 12 differential outputs or 24 single-ended outputs. Now that you have an understanding of the internal architecture, we can now demonstrate the LMK04800 evaluation board. This is a LMK04808 device, which is one of the four in the family. The reference clock is coming from a SIGGEN and feeding the LMK04808 with a reference clock. That's locking the internal VCXO or the external VCXO, which is running at 122.88 megahertz, and that's driving the next PLL stage with the internal VCO running at 2.949 gigahertz. That VCO clock is then fed to the clock distribution path, and we're outputting multiple clocks on this board. The first clock, we're dividing that frequency down to output a 122.88 megahertz LV PECL output. That's being fed to this E5052 phase noise analyzer. And as you can see up here, we're achieving a very good low uh, jitter performance of 133 femtoseconds over an integration bandwidth of 100 hertz to 20 megahertz. Looking down here, you can see that we also achieve a very low noise floor of minus 160 dBc per hertz, which is excellent broadband noise. In addition to this very high performance, this device also offers a very flexible and highly configurable um, clock distribution stage. Here we're outputting two 122.88 megahertz uh, output clocks which are in LV CMOS format. These are being fed to the scope shown here. As you can see due to cable mismatch and trace mismatch we're seeing a, a significant uh, skew between the two clocks. Using the LMK uh, programming software called Code Loader 4, we can also we can then program the digital delay blocks in order to achieve course adjustment. And once we get close enough, we can also enable the analog delay, which provides fine adjustment in order to achieve precise alignment of the clocks. Uh, in addition, the output distribution includes programmable output buffers where we can select LVDS capability uh, for driving the various interfaces required in the system. This is showing an LVDS output. 
So as you can see, the LMK 04800 clock, clocking solution provides very high performance and very highly configurable um, features which allow it to be used in wireless infrastructure and other high performance applications. Please see national.com slash timing for more information and thanks for watching.